All right, YouTube. I just wanted to send out a quick update on some new features uh, built into the app. So now from the app home screen, you can switch between devices by tapping here. And you can see there's a whole bunch. Uh, tap on the Beehive logo or on the drop down. Also have uh, network settings right here from the home screen. If you're currently connected to a Bluetooth device, it gives you an option to connect Bluetooth. If it's Wi-Fi, you can update Wi-Fi settings right from there. Um, let's go to the devices. We've added, uh, we've always had smart watering. Smart watering, not only does smart watering, you can leave smart watering on for the entire system and you'll still get automatic rain delays. Um, and then you have smart watering restrictions. You can set the days of the week that it can and can't water and what times. Uh, but we've added weather adjustments. This affects rain delays. So in here you can set the percentage chance of rain delay uh, of rain before it sets a delay here. You can set the amount of rain that is forecast here. So unless both of these both of these things are, these parameters are met, you won't get a rain delay. So if you want more rain delays, lower the percent, lower the amount of rain. If you want fewer rain delays, up the percent, up the amount of rain forecast. You get fewer delays. We also have wind delays. So you can change the amount of wind before you get a wind delay. Uh, freeze delay, so you can up, increase, or decrease the temperature before it sets a freeze delay for you. Um, oh, in this screen also. This is brand new, wanted to show. Now you can select a weather station. So from here, tap this. It'll show you a map of your area and it will show you the B here, um, this one. That would be the um, weather station that the timer currently would pick if it you didn't change it. Um, I have personal weather stations turned on. I can turn those off. Now you can see there's only a couple to choose from. Turn this back on. Now you have a whole bunch of weather stations. So it's pulling these in from um, pwsweather.com, uh, which is an Aries uh, service or Aries. And... Uh, you have a lot more options so you can get a weather station as, that is much closer now it's important to note that not all weather stations that are on here could have all the the right information or accurate information so you need to be careful when picking one you know not all weather stations are created equal some don't measure rain for example um, you know they could go offline so you just want to make sure that you're picking a weather station that is accurate so you can set that now in the app and you can also uh, this has always been there but in your calendar you can see the upcoming watering if you're using smart watering like I am or it's custom scheduled programs so I'll just pick this day so that shows my scheduled program what it's going to do I can scroll to the smart program and see what it's going to do also right there. So pending any rain delays or anything, that's a program that it will lay down. And as always, this home button right here turns to a remote control when you're on the home screen. Uh, you can pick from your custom programs or you can pick one at a time on these. Uh, or you can just hit play, set it, and it will add all of them to the list for that same amount of time. Uh, or just pick one and hit play. Always on the home screen. And those are some of the new features that uh, not everybody is aware of yet and just wanted to make everybody aware of those. Uh, if you want to hear a little bit more, I'll keep talking some more things. 
uh, we also have on the zones if you're using smart watering uh, we've been getting rain so I'm 100% full but uh, you can now adjust your soil moisture yourself so if I thought you know what my lawn's still a little dry I still want it to water I can lower that caution don't do that too often what that does is that forces smart watering to have to recalculate every time you make an adjustment there so we don't recommend you adjust that a lot but it is possible to do from the smart details always input as much information as you can about your lawn or whatever it is you're watering the soil type all that um, now we have the smart watering schedule adjustments so from here you can say I want to uh, water just a little bit less than what it's currently watering so if you feel like it's over watering or if I want it to water just a little bit more than what it's been watering so you can now adjust that runtime, approximate runtime. So if if you look up here, you can see that right now at zero, it's estimated duration is 21 minutes. If I as I slide this, that goes up. If I slide it this way, it goes down. Pretty cool. And you can adjust the interval. So if you want it to water less often or more often, so you can say you know this way is less often this way is more often it's uh you so you're shrinking the interval this way you're increasing the 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 interval that way um so yeah uh, if you are using smart warning those are some pretty cool tools what it's doing is it's actually um adjusting these advanced details for you in the background we just make it a lot easier with these simpler controls to use to be able to adjust those values without knowing exactly what you're doing just add a little more or just a little less water all right and let's see if there's anything else i can think of um, that's pretty much it we have some new device types so uh, as you can see, I've got the new host tap uh, faucets or host faucet water uh, sprinkler timers on my account now. So I've got two different host taps. I'm using the Wi-Fi hub, and I can see here in my device groups. I've got a hub group, and then I've got a timer group. And you can see the devices that are on that group for the host faucet timers. And we now support more device types. So if you're adding a new device, um, when you come in, you say it's a new device. Now you can pick whether it's a timer. That is our indoor-outdoor install underground timer, our indoor timer only. Um, it's meant for indoor installs. It doesn't have a panel. It's all through the app. These two, uh, actually these three are new. So this is the host faucet timer right here standalone Bluetooth only no internet connection whatsoever Bluetooth control through the phone only the hub is a Bluetooth to Wi-Fi bridge so if you have this only and you want to connect to the internet get the hub the hub is a Bluetooth to Wi-Fi bridge it makes it so your hose faucet can communicate through the internet um, you can set those up independently, but if you buy them together, you can install them together. So you use this combo pack right here, and it will walk you through. First, you'll set up the hub, because that's what connects to the internet. Once the hub is all configured, then we have you set up the hose faucet, and it just walks you through in progression. Um, we've had a lot of confusion people setting up just the hub, thought that they had both done both, but they have not. And we have some people think that just the timer can talk to the internet. It can't. You have to have the hub first. So if you buy them individually, you can use one and then the other of those. If you buy them together, use this option, and it will walk you through setting up both devices. First, you have to connect the hub to the internet. Then you connect the faucet timer to the hub. And then you have to configure the hub to water, give it all the times and everything. So those are our new device options. And program running. 
and that's all for now. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.